Elon Musk wants to accelerate our first steps to becoming a multi-planetary civilization. This goal was the genesis of SpaceX. By colonizing other planets, we mitigate the risk that life-ending events on Earth will eliminate all life. Musk's intent wasn't to colonize Mars by himself, but rather inspire a new generation towards space exploration. The original idea was to send seeds to Mars and grow them on the surface as a symbol of spreading life into the wider universe. Getting to Mars has engendered a revolution in how spaceflight is done. SpaceX was certainly not the first to attempt a reusable spacecraft. The shuttle envisioned a cheap reusable way of getting to orbit, ultimately found to be way too expensive. SpaceX has actually delivered on that vision, with the Falcon 9 reusable rocket boosters now being regularly reused multiple times, many exceeding 10 launches. What was revolutionary in 2016 is now an everyday event, with launches occurring every week. With the retirement of the shuttle, NASA were forced to rely on Russian spacecraft to reach the International Space Station. NASA funded development of two new spacecraft in order to re-establish a manned launch capability. One was Starliner by Boeing, and the other was Crew Dragon by SpaceX. SpaceX had been launching cargo missions to the ISS for some time, but a crewed mission meant validating both booster and capsule. The race to orbit was won by SpaceX, who now have completed three human missions to the ISS, along with private orbital missions. Crew Dragon and Falcon 9 enabled NASA to continue to support the ISS, ending reliance on the Russians. SpaceX began launching communication satellites into orbit for its global internet access system, Starlink, in 2019. Starlink enables those who don't have access to terrestrial communication networks to get high-speed internet access at a reasonable cost. Starlink will level the playing field in terms of access to underserved communities around the world. Currently, Starlink requires that satellites are able to transmit to a ground base station. This is changing, however, with laser communication links being introduced in order to bypass terrestrial connections and pipe data around the world. Once these satellites are in orbit, the system will become available for planes, boats and mobile homes. The next generation of spacecraft at SpaceX will be Starship. Unlike Falcon 9, which only reuses the first stage, Starship has been designed to be entirely reusable. It is also far larger than the previous rockets, with the ability to take over 100 tons to orbit. The approach is similar to the Falcon 9 in that the first stage booster will land propulsively once it ferries the second stage into orbit. The second stage has protective tiles that will allow it to survive re-entry from orbital velocities, and so will be reusable. While Starship will be larger than the Falcon 9, and for that matter most other rockets, its reusability will make it a cheap ride to orbit. The cost of launch will be fractions of the cost of the space launch system, which is projected to be about 500 million per launch. SpaceX won a NASA contract to use Starship as part of the Artemis project, which will return people to the Moon. A version of Starship will land vertically on the Moon and take off again to return the astronauts to Earth. Starship may become the space bus of the future between the Earth and the Moon. The engines of Starship run on methane, which can be manufactured from CO2 and a little hydrogen. This process can be run on the surface of Mars, and so Starship could be refueled on the surface of Mars. This was the plan outlined by Robert Zubrin in his book Mars Direct, which saw humans landing on Mars and staying for almost two years before returning to Earth. What began as a symbolic mission has revolutionized how we get to space, saved the American manned space program, delivered access to the internet for those who had no options, and will be helping us return to the moon and explore beyond.